Hey friends all over the world, I come to you tonight with an urgent message and I need you to really hear me. I come with an urgent message. I was literally about to sleep, but the Lord put this on my heart to give to you and I would encourage you to hear this. Watch it in its entirety. Hear it because it may save your life. I want I want to expose witchcraft tonight and premature death. I want to expose witchcraft and premature death. At the beginning of 20, let me see, 2023, yeah. The Lord, actually before 20, 2023, I think it was still 2022, the Lord gave me a word concerning several things that would happen in 2023. And one of the things that the Lord told me he said, we must make a conscious decision that we will live and not die in this year. That we must make a conscious decision that we will live and not die. You know, there is a spirit of witchcraft in the earth today. And there is a connection between witchcraft and premature death. In fact, let me tell you a quick story that I want to go to the scriptures. When I first started the ministry years ago, I remember uh, I began to preach and do a lot of teaching on spiritual warfare. I was coming against all these spirits, Jezebel and all this kind of stuff. And one night while I was in my bedroom, I literally began to suffocate and I began to like go down. It felt like I was having a seizure. I began to go down and down and I felt I felt like my my body was being enthralled in darkness. That was the best way to describe it. And I felt myself sinking down. And I knew I was dying. I knew. You just know. And I knew that I was dying if God didn't intervene. And I remember shouting with the top of my lungs. And I said, I bind you, spirit of oppression. And I shouted out, <gasps> And something lifted off of me. And, and, and immediately when it lifted off of me, as I looked to the right like this, I saw what looked like an octopus. He was translucent with, with about eight or nine tentacles. And he was just hovering over me. He didn't have natural eyes like human beings do, but he could see me. And I knew he was bewildered. He was perplexed as if to say, you see me? You're not supposed to see me. He never, I, I, he, we didn't talk. There was no oral communication. But it was as if this spirit knew that I was not supposed to see him. He was sent to kill me in my sleep. And I want to pray for some people tonight who don't realize that you've been dealing with a spirit of witchcraft. You see? And what you agree with has power. That thing that you've been dealing with in your body is not a normal illness. It is not a normal illness. It is not a natural illness. It's a spirit of infirmity connected to witchcraft. And some of you have been under attack in your body. And so I want to take, I want to take a few moments to pray against witchcraft tonight. To pray against premature death. The Bible says in 1 Kings 18 that when Jezebel heard about what Elijah had done with the prophets of Baal. The Bible says she sent a messenger to tell Elijah, she says, I'm going to do the same thing you did to those prophets. I'm going to do that to you. In other words, I'm going to kill you. And Elijah, a man of faith and power, ran for his life. He was terrified at the edict of Jezebel. And that, that's the connection because those word curses those word curses about death and, and about destruction that have been spoken, I'm telling you, the Lord showed it to me. There have, there have been some, some curses spoken into the atmosphere over people, over churches, over men and women of God. And there's been agreement with these curses, maybe unwitting agreement. But I'm telling you right now, that diagnosis will not destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit of witchcraft that's been coming against your life. I curse the spirit of premature death 
in Jesus' name. You will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. 2023 will not kill me. You ought to shout that out of your mouth. 2023 will not kill me in the name of Jesus. I will fulfill the number of my days. The Bible says in Psalm 91, glory be to God, beginning with verse 3, says, surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He says, with long life, he will satisfy you and show you his salvation. You need to make a decision right now that the assignment of death, that the premature spirit of death that has been sent to assassinate people before their time is broken right now. I declare that every witchcraft attack, every word curse spoken against the righteous in Jesus name, it falls to the ground and dies. Yeah, it falls to the ground and dies. It, lose its, it loses its effect right now. It loses its effect right now. Some of you have been feeling things in your body. And let me tell you something, you've been feeling things You've been feeling things in your body. You've been, you've been going through things in your health. In the name of Jesus, every blood clot that's trying to cause a stroke, right now, in Jesus' name, be dissolved. Come on. In Jesus' name, every attack on your endocrine system, every attack on your circulatory system, Everything that the enemy has planned to destroy you may it be arrested and intercepted by the power of the Holy Ghost and it shall not prosper. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. Listen to me. Some of you right now, you were, you were inoculated. You took, you took the jab, and because you took the jab, you've been facing all kinds of things in your body. Listen, in the name of Jesus, every adverse effect of that inoculation, every adverse effect of that jab that has caused your body to dysfunction, in the name of Jesus, I cast it out of you, in Jesus' name. The effects of long haul, they call it long haulers, those of you who are infected by the virus and now you've been having trouble breathing, trouble sleeping, blood clots, in Jesus' name, every blood clot be dissolved by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. You shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This season will not be your detriment. This season will not be your destruction. This season will not be your end. This season will not be the death of you. In the name of Jesus, I speak life over you. And I cancel the assignment of witchcraft. I cancel the assignment of premature death on your life. In the name of Jesus. Come on, you got to stand up and say 2023 will not kill me. Or whenever you watch this video, 2024, 2025. But right now I declare this because this is so key. This is so key right now. We are living in a season where the enemy has been trying to send assaults against the righteous, against the children of God to take you out before your time to take your ministry out before it's time, to cause a demise of your assignment. But right now, in Jesus' name, I speak life over you. I speak life over you. I speak life over you in Jesus' name. No, that thing won't kill you. No, I come against diabetes. Glory be to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come against cardiovascular disease in Jesus' name. I come against stroke. I come against autoimmune disorders. I come against aneurysms. I come against accidents. I come against calamitous events. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, it shall not prosper. It shall not work. It shall not prosper. It shall not work. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, it shall not prosper. It shall not work. It shall not prosper. It shall not work. It shall not prosper. It shall not work in the name of Jesus. Come on, you got to share this with somebody. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus that the spirit of death is intercepted 
dismantled, dissolved, destroyed. Yeah, return to cinder in the name of Jesus. You have no power, no place in Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Jesus' name, I declare right now, some of you are getting this because you've had things happening in your life, happening in your body, and the enemy's been attacking you, and he's been doing it through witchcraft, through witchcraft assignments, yeah, through witchcraft arrows, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I declare those arrows broken. I declare those arrows broken. I declare those arrows broken. They are rendered powerless. Come on, they are rendered ineffective. They will not prosper. They will not proceed. They will not go forth in the name of Jesus. They will not go forth in Jesus' name. Lord, it is well. 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 In Jesus' name, Father, I thank you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and bless you with his peace, his shalom, nothing missing and nothing broken, that you may be perfect and entire, lacking nothing, lacking nothing. Yes, yeah, see, the enemy uses witchcraft. The Bible says the curse causeless shall not alight. And the enemy uses witchcraft as a delivery mechanism for the curse. A lot of times when you see people dying, it's because of witchcraft. A lot of times when you see accidents, it's because of witchcraft. A lot of times when you see just these calamitous events, it is connected to witchcraft. It's not random. It's not random. See, with witchcraft, one of the assignments of witchcraft is death. When Jezebel saw that Elijah would not submit to her whims, she spoke a word curse over him. And that's why he was literally ready to die. That spirit of death began to pursue him. He, want, he was ready to end his life. He was so in despair of life. He despaired of life. And it was because of the words of Jezebel. It was because of the words of Jezebel. And so that is the connection. You see, these people who are under demonic influence will begin to speak their curses. They'll begin to say things. The Lord showed me when I moved to this city that I live in now, I saw where even preachers, preachers were praying for the demise of other preachers. And the Lord said to me, he said, it's a spirit of witchcraft. It's a spirit of witchcraft. They are praying for one another to die. They're praying for one another to die. They're hoping that people die. And people come into agreement with this stuff. And when they come into agreement with it, it gives it power. It's Matthew 18, verses 18 and 19. When you come into agreement with the enemy, you give him efficacy. You give him power. So the moment you fall out of agreement with him, he loses his power, his influence. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is for. But the enemy has been trying to release an edict of death over people. And that's why you've been going through that in your health. That's why you've been going through that in your body. That's why you felt like that. That's why that spirit of suicide has been attacking people. But tonight I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the shed blood of Jesus, that the spirit of death connected to witchcraft is broken off of you, is broken off of your mind, broken off of your family, broken off of your children, broken off of your household, bro broken off of your neighborhood. See, let me tell you, let me, let me show you something you need to understand. I feel the Holy Ghost on this. Um, it was a, it was a minister that had a crusade in Texas in Houston. And it was a very bad neighborhood. He had this huge crusade. And these rappers and gangsters and people like that had come and they left AK-47s, 9 millimeters, all kinds of weapons on the altar. And he asked them, you know, they, they gave their lives to the Lord. And they were talking about how they got into 
doing the things they were doing, the murdering and the killing. And he said they would listen to the music. And the music had a spirit of death attached to it. They said when they would listen to that music for several hours, he said they would, they would be so cooked up with death that they could kill their own grandmother, kill their own mother. You see, the, the witchcraft is what's activating that spirit of death. You see, if I, listen to me, if I had not discerned the assignment of the enemy, I would have died. I would have died. If I didn't discern, hey, this is the enemy trying to snuff out my life, I would have consented. I would have come into agreement with that spirit of death. It was the fact that I discerned, know what, this is not God. This is not God's will for my life. This is not from God. This is from the devil. And because I stood my ground, some of you need to stand your ground. You will not die this year. Good God, you will not die this year. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the assignment of the spirit of witchcraft and premature death off of your life. I cancel the assignment of witchcraft and premature death off of your life in the name of Jesus. That hospital room will not be the last thing that you see. My God, that hospital room will not be the last thing that you see in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I declare right now somebody ought to begin to release their faith and say, I will not die but live. And declare the works of the Lord because Psalm 91 says, with long life, he will satisfy me and show me his salvation. It says in Psalm 91 verse 3 that surely he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. So, Father, I thank you that the snare of the fowler is broken. The snare of the fowler is broken. The snare of that spirit of death is broken. That spirit of death that spirit of, of calamity, that spirit of chaos, that spirit of infirmity. In Jesus' name, I break your power off of the people of God in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now, in Jesus' name, right now, I break your power. I break your assignment. You will not destroy God's people. You will not snuff out their destiny prematurely. You will not kill them before their time. Lord, I thank you that the number of their days and our days shall be fulfilled according to your word. According to your word. No accident, no calamity, no event, no person will be able to take you out of here before your time. Father, right now, I cancel witchcraft assaults. Yeah, witchcraft assaults, making you think, well, uh, were you sick or you're, you know, you're not going to survive this or you got this issue or this chronic issue and this and this and that. No, I don't accept it. Somebody say, I don't accept it. I don't accept it. I don't accept it. It's not deliverable. It's not deliverable to my address. It's return to sender. It's not deliverable to my address. It's return to sender. It's not deliverable to my address. It is return to sender in Jesus name. Share this video with everybody you know. And remember, Jesus is Lord.